Okay, I got back from camping the day before yesterday. So the day before, it was 70 degrees. And now, it's 30 with a wind chill of 20. It's supposed to snow today and tomorrow. I'm gonna feed the animals and make sure they got everything they need. Check the water. Oh, I'll have to take it in and get some more. I'll take this one. So last time it got cold, we had a pipe burst. And um, Brian just capped it off, which was our faucet. So now we have to haul water to get it out here. Come on, girls and gents. I still keep this on in case a coon wants to break in again. You girls hungry? The slid was off this morning, not this morning, yesterday, and there was a poop on the outside, and the possum likes to get in here. We actually had a possum get in the cat feed on the porch, it's also in the trash can, and the possum got the lid off. That was the first of us. I'm going to go ahead and stick extra feed in here. Okay, as you can see, I'm running low on straw. And when the chickens got in, they spread everything. I don't know. But for my morning cleaning, this is my morning box cleaning. This is what I do. So at the bottom of these nest boxes, there is wire big enough for the poop to fall through. So I will just spread this around. Oh, there's an egg already. I'm sorry, girl, but I gotta clean. Look at your, your house is filthy. So this keeps the eggs clean. <laughs> She's mad, she left. So, I should have done this first because it drops to this box. And then when they need hay, I just stick it more hay in. But this keeps it pretty clean. If I don't do this just one day, all the eggs are dirty. So, I gotta spread it. I need to get more straw. Last time I was at the farm store, they didn't have any. I don't really have anywhere to store it. But let's keep doing this. It keeps them clean. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna grab these eggs she left. It's so dirty and I don't have that much hay. I had to use it all, but I'm gonna go ahead and spread it on under the roof, and since they've spread all this hay. I hear you. I know. You're seeing what I'm doing, making sure I'm doing it right. So we're just gonna drop it back there behind all the, where they roost. Try to keep it a little clean. So in the winter, in the winter, I do the deep bed method. The deep bed method is you just keep putting straw down to keep it clean. And then in the spring, you just do a big major of clean and it all goes to the garden. Another thing. I've done, shh, shh. <laughs> is I will stick feed under where the roost, and then they'll just come along and scratch it and get it stirred up so it's cleaner also. I do that sometimes. But they scratch it up anyway. So you can see how there's hardly any straw here. I always put it there, but they scratch it to get the feed. So 
I could do that over here and they'll clean that too. Turn it into soil pretty much. Since I'm lacking straw, I'll probably put feed under there in the next day or two. Some of this needs to go in Blue's doghouse. He likes to kick his out. All right, chickens are done for now. Just gotta go get water. Tonight it's supposed to drop to the teens and tomorrow as well. It's supposed to be in the negatives in the morning. Be Alaska prep, right? You might be a homesteader if you have mud in your tub. Okay. I asked Brian if he's preparing me for Alaska and making me haul water. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm going there. Okay. Chickens are officially done. Pond is freezing. Since the wind chills one degree right now. I'm late getting out of the chickens. It's like nine o'clock. Brian and I were up last night. We had to keep the washer and dryer running. We had to keep feeding the fire. And the reason we have this, the dryer pipe going down underneath the mobile home to help keep it from freezing because the, the washer pipes freeze. One time that happened, I was doing a load of laundry and it flooded the whole utility, flooded the whole utility room. She was pretty though. I was debating whether or not to let the chickens out because they're prone to getting frostbite. Oh, we got one guinea. Oh, there they are, are. So we got one inch of ice under this and like a couple inches of snow. So, oh my, good morning guys. I really don't think that you want out there today. I think we'll leave you in. I forgot to leave, take the water inside. I'm gonna have to take it and saw it. I'm out of breath. Carrying that water is tiring. I don't know why I didn't do this last night. Totally not prepared. I'm gonna use this to set the water on inside the coop. It's dry, it's so cold. It's supposed to be even colder tomorrow. Oh, I hear Sergeant Carter. So this is not normal. What are you doing? Okay, next I'm gonna have to take the food over to Blue. So we put the tarp on his doghouse like we did last year and it kept him really warm. So I'm gonna have to get him fresh water, obviously. 